Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. As you can see, I am not in front of the camera for the intro of this video. I've just worked a 12 hour day and I feel and look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards, so you're just gonna have to suffice with looking at the figure straight on without my, without my mug on screen, so I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the break. <laughs> I'll be back soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll be at IG-11, this one has just hit. Um, it's just hitting stores now, really. Um, my, my man Lockie picked this up for me earlier today, so dude, I appreciate the hell out of that. It is VC number 206, and I have reviewed Lando and the Emperor from the Wave. Tebow, I'm not sure about yet. I'm gonna see if I can check out some reviews first and just sort of see if there is a, like a viable difference between the one I already have. Chances are probably not, so I'm not, probably not going to worry about Tebow, but IG-11, this one is an absolute necessity. Um, the fact that it's new, I believe most of the sculpt is new. I'm sure there are some reused parts from the old IG-88 from the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection, I can't remember, or Vintage Saga Collection. Um, but yeah, that one had been out for a few, few times. So I imagine they're using some similar parts. It looks like new hands and yeah, we'll see. But I'm pretty pumped on this one. It looks good. Um, yeah, awesome to see IG-11. You know, sort of get a little bit of love because the uh, Black Series one was just basically a repack of IG-88 with the with the belt. So it was a little bit disappointing. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's crack open IG-11 and have a look. All right, folks, so straight off the bat, I'm digging the look of this figure. I think it looks cool. I'm digging the sort of the bronze and the sort of gold-ish sort of tones with the figure. The weapons, the hands, they hold well. Um, when I'm touching the figure, not so much. Um, it's made of a really sort of soft plastic. You can already sort of see that right leg there. It's sort of bowed in the packaging a little bit. It's just, it's quite flexible. It's quite soft plastic. Um, particularly for the limbs. And I will preface by saying, you know, heat up those joints before you start moving them because these elbows will break. They are quite slim little joints. And uh, yeah, if you're not careful, that will break really, really easily. They're quite, quite a thin piece of plastic and it's a really soft plastic. So there's not a lot. This one seems to be okay. This other one is a little bit stiffer. Um, so yeah, be very, very careful guys. If you're, um, if you're gonna be posing them up and bending those elbows because yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt to move that any more than I just have. There we go, I might even just spin around that way. <laughs> so the articulation is there, it looks good, but um, yeah, just the feel of the figure. It feels a little bit light. You know, it's not a heavy, f <laughs> none of these figures are overly heavy anyway, so it's probably not such a bad thing. But yeah, it's just a really sort of soft plastic. If you saw my um, review of the battle droid, the super battle droid from the gaming greats line, um, you know, I was pretty, pretty disappointed in that one, but even that one, you know, is nowhere near as bad as that one. This one here is nowhere as near as bad as that battle droid. So, so he's, yeah, he's definitely new, new mold. So he's got those articulated hips there. So you can put him on a speeder bike, of course. Hoses, little pipes and stuff are popping out, but that's okay. That's an easy plug in there. I'll get it later when I can uh, actually see it. So yeah, good articulation, swivels at the thighs, good joints of the knees, ankles, swivels at the ankles, swivels at the wrists. So he's, they've gone all out with the articulation. It's just, yeah, a little bit more of a solid plastic would have been just that little bit better. Uh, the head of the individual pass move. So you've got the, uh, the sort of dome there on the top, so the second bit there, other bit, and then the, the whole head will spin. 
ab joint there which again feels to be sort of pretty tight so yeah might need a little dunk in some water first before you attempt to do, make too many drastic movements but for me I think this is probably just going to get um, popped up on the shelf with my other Mandalorian figures it looks pretty good again just the sort of quality of the plastic has leaves a little bit to be desired um, but it's been like that for a couple of years now so hopefully hopefully Hasbro are listening and we start getting some better some better figures better quality plastic rather than this sort of almost soft rubber and again it's for the blasters too you know they're really let's just sort of see how easily that's flexing and this one here you, know, you almost wrap that around in a circle you know that's I'll be switching these out for some others in my own accessory box because they're just they just feel flimsy you know it's just not very good it's just a soft rubber you know you can almost roll that into a ball yeah they'll be getting switched out immediately <laughs> and I'll probably end up just putting these ones in the bin because uh, yeah they're just rubbish rubber no I won't put them in the bin but yeah it certainly won't be using them anytime soon so, yeah that's it's just a little bit a bit a little bit slack there with the plastic poor choice but uh anyway I'm pretty happy with the figure you know glad glad we can add IG-11 to the Mandalorian collection particularly for the card collectors, they're gonna love that one. So please drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Any comments, feedback, anything like that, please just drop it below. Give the video a thumbs up please if you did enjoy the video. We'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. So I appreciate you all hanging around and you for your support uh, check out the all the stuff in the description as well down below you get some social media links and stuff like that so more of where you could follow follow me around and stuff so thank you all once again I'm just trying to pose IGDI on one foot but it's not gonna work Nope, not going to work. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching. Till my next one, may the force be with you always.